Thank you, Judge. At the same time, our military is facing deep spending cuts. Our president is threatening another war, this one against Iran. Joining me now is retired U.S. Army Intelligence Colonel Anthony Schaefer, author of Operation Dark Heart. Colonel Schaefer, it's always a pleasure. Welcome here. Always good to be on with you, Judge. Thank, Thank you. you. Colonel, uh, many people who are self-proclaimed hawks, who, who, who say that they are strongly in favor uh, of the defense of the United States uh, of America from enemies uh, real and imagined, uh, have attacked Ron Paul as having uh, an unrealistic or even a dangerous view about our foreign policy. You, a career military officer, have defended Ron Paul. Make the case. Well, I have. Now, don't forget, uh, Ron Paul and I debated on John Stossel's show back in May, and we have differences. But with that said, he has the most realistic policy regarding Iran, Judge, because of two things. First, the Iranians may already have the bomb, and this rhetoric from uh, the other candidates, you know, Santorum and, and Romney, is not only uninformed, it's ill-advised. I think it's silly. Secondly, uh, Jim DeMeth even said this, we cannot hope to continue to have an expeditionary military to the size we have based on the fact we just don't have the money. Therefore, you have to be very precise, very realistic in what threats are real. And I think Ron Paul's policy is the most accurate based on what we need to face as a nation going forward. You, you uh, spent a year in military intelligence, so you know of whom I'm about to speak. The head of the Israeli Mossad says... Iran is not a threat to Israel, and if it is, we can deal with it on our own. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the same thing. Why do you think Ron Paul is the only Republican who agrees with them, and the other Republicans are disagreeing with them? Well, that's a mystery to me, because the Israelis themselves have said, leave us alone, we'll deal with what we have to do, deal with as a country. Frankly, right now at this point in time, we need to allow the Israelis to do what they feel necessary to feel secure. I mean, it's their country, it's their issues. With that said, we have to take a realistic look at, at, at what we need to hold sacred regarding our own self-interest as a nation. Uh, the idea of, of involving ourselves in expensive wars, frankly, President Reagan tried to avoid getting us involved in large land conflicts, as, right. as I would show, regarding the, uh, the uh, bombing in uh, Lebanon. He right. did not want to see us bogged down. Colonel, are, is the United States government engaged in covert operations on the ground in Iran as we speak? Uh, i got to be honest with you. I don't believe so. However, I do believe we're doing everything we can to understand what is going on inside. There are real threats there, Judge. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the, the, the Iranians are trying to develop a new class of, of nuclear weapons. I believe they already have at least two nuclear warheads av available to them. They're looking at EMP weapons, which could devastate uh, our infrastructure. But the question becomes, are they rational or irrational? I disagree with the State Department's comments a couple of weeks ago saying they're irrational. These folks are, are painfully rational by the fact they understand the survival of the regime depends on them acting somewhat rationally to make sure we don't do anything to go after them. Got it. Colonel Anthony Schaefer, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Judge.